afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand. Welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call, 3 p.m. Eastern, February 12th, 2019. And this was the day we started the meditations, February 12th. I believe last year it was on a Monday, and this year it's on a Tuesday. It graduates a day each year, so... You know, we've gone 365 days of meditation, of using our power to create value and build wealth for life, which is the highest value in the universe, and for the planet, and for all of our brothers and sisters, increasing the vibrational frequency. It's obvious that when we... Uh, we, we know that this is expanding. We know it's growing uh, all over the planet. We know that this is uh, not some uh, random uh, grouping of meditations, meditators to uh, eventually kind of fitter out. Uh, it's growing and expanding. Uh, it's helping many humans on the planet expand their understanding of who they are and what they are. Also uh, detaching uh, uh, uncoupling themselves from the matrix, uh, this uh, anti-civilization. And you know, when we talk about anti-civilization, we're talking about is everything that you see and view and witness in this civilization, this anti-civilization, is uh, basically it's it, it's structured on the annihilation of life. There's, it, it, it isn't structured on creating values and building wealth. It's structured on annihilation of life. And eventually, that's what happens in an anti-civilization. Yeah, you know, usually, a civilization eventually implodes on itself, and all life is extinguished. Uh, even at times, planets are completely destroyed uh, in an anti-civilization. It feeds on itself. Um, you see, we've, we've been in a, this bubble for, forever. So it's, as, we, as we move out, as we disconnect, and we look to the civilization of the universe, when I say the civilization of the universe, you're talking about total expansive freedom to create and to develop and to advance for all of the civilization, for... Uh, really creating values for life for, for and in happiness and joy and bliss and expanding technologies and advancing those technologies without the constraints of lazy leaders and lazy leaders sit there and they feed off of the workers they feed off of them and I'm sure you can you can understand that that's what we have we have a an anti-civilization, and we have lazy leaders that feed off of humans, off of the, the, the civilization. And everything that is good is bad in an anti-civilization. Everything that we would like to expand on and build, like the technologies, advance them, get them into the hands of all of humanity, uh, th that's, that's considered bad in an anti-civilization. Uh, having your own thoughts, communicating, uh, uh, having the uh, n n no regulations, uh, thinking for yourself, uh, knowing uh, the direct path, uh, knowing uh, what is good and what is bad, and knowing uh, what creation is good and destruction is bad. Uh, knowing these things, thinking for yourself, advancing, honoring life, valuing life as the highest value in the universe. So we we go through a metamorphosis and an understanding as we decouple from the anti-civilization and we move into the civilization of the universe. And that is, when we say civilization of the universe, it is expansive. We advance. We progress, always moving forward. And we have this expanse. We have this uh, uh, artist canvas, so to speak. And we just begin to create. And we don't stop. And we advance and create. And this is all done in deep eternal love. It's all done in that. All the time. 
and we we have an ebb. You know, we 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 have a uh, in anything we have like an ebb. Things things uh, intensify and then they light. They intensify and then they light. It's just like in relationships, even the deepest of love sometimes kind of wanes and then comes back and then wanes and then comes back. And it is a uh, process uh, for humanity uh, to understand that all of everything, all of everything is created by the collective consciousness. All right? And it is, there are beings, I'll put it this way, there are beings who have vast, vast knowledge and, and super, super creative abilities and powers. So they can create universes. They can create galaxies and watch over it in love. Okay? So when you, when you look at us on this planet, in an anti-civilization, and then you realize that you are not part of that anti-civilization. Now, some people will say, well, you've got to live in it. You've got to live it because that's what it is. That's what you have to, in order to survive, you've got to be a part of it. That's been a, 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 uh, a fallacy for a long time. If you're part of it, you're never going to be out of it. See, you have to make that brave step to disconnect from it, or it will always be. See what I mean? You know, even though you know that it is an anti-civilization, even though you know that it is a, uh, a structure of self-destruction, um, you, you, you're in it. You're still in it. You still, you still are in it. What I mean in it, in, in your heart mind, in your existence, okay? You can maneuver it, you can navigate it, but you do not have to be a part of it. Your part is in the civilization of the universe. In order for us to break free of this bondage and slavery, this entire system that has been, that has been engineered on this planet is to leave it and to start creating our civilization of the universe. Okay? And it starts in the emotion, in the heart-mind. And then you have your mind. Remember, you master the mind and the ego. So you create kind of a virtual existence of love, compassion, caring, bliss and joy, and all of these things uh, embrace uh, the energies. Obviously, things in good harmony and energy and high frequency completely outdo the lower dank, goopy, pulling, heavy, weighted frequencies that are constantly detuning us, keeping us in disarray, keeping us confused, keeping us stressed. They, the body creates the stress. The mind intensifies the stress. So everything that you experience, whether you're, you're conscious of it or not, you are the builder. You are the creator. And, and that has always been a challenge for humanity. So some people know that, but how do they consistently move themselves out of it? Right? And to keep the balance. We have all of the emotions and all of the creations of both the dark and the light. We have both. And it is a balance that, is, that begins, to, it's a harmony that we create for ourselves and each other so that we, we, we graduate, so to speak, into bliss, harmony, enlightenment, 
And as you become more and more enlightened, it, it is literally, you become more and more consistently in love. You are not out of love. Out of love means disharmony, means anger, stress, fear, all of these things, because the mind creates them, creates the fear. Okay? That's where the confidence without ego comes in. So, today's meditation is the anti-civilization. And it is a, a meditation designed for us to harmonize and elevate out of the anti-civilization. And each and every one of you know exactly what the anti-civilization is. And to move into the civilization of the universe. As a matter of fact, we will call this the civilization of the universe meditation. So if you will, go to a place where you're not going to be interrupted, which I'm sure most of you are. And as I talk, you're going to want to relax. Relax the body. And it, all relaxing means that you spend the moment. You, you are in the moment. If you are not in the moment, move yourself in the moment and just be. Let all of these, all the chatter and the noise that's coming into your mind and body and all the things that are going on, subside. Release it. Fears, anxieties, all of it. Just release it. Let it just flow away. And if you want, call in the purple transmuting flame. Violet ray. Have the purple transmuting flame. Transmute all of that chatter and noise into neutralized substance. Send it back to the great central sun. Have the violet ray come in and cleanse. Purify. And then bring in the white fire of strength and protection. For your energies, we can wield them whenever we choose. So relax the body, go into a floating state, almost like if you're laying on a cloud in the sky. You have a light breeze coming over, kissing your face. And as you relax and as I'm talking, you're going to want to breathe. And you breathe through the nose and out through the mouth. And as you breathe in through the nose, inhale. You want to hold it 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. And release through the mouth. Exhale. You're going to want to do this about six times while I'm talking, at least. And as you breathe in, you're breathing in divine positive energy. And this is, this is from source creation. This is a communication, this this energy that you breathe in because you're breathing in energy. So as you inhale it, this divine positive energy, it clarifies. It eliminates mysticism. Right? It brings into focus that your journey takes you to the civilization of the universe. This is about bliss and harmony and peace and love. This is about creating values for each other, for all, building wealth. This is an advancement that we're just beginning. Each and every one of us. And this is the communication, the clarity, from the universe. You're inhaling the, the energy of creation. It is a direct communication from prime source creator God. You feel fulfilled and highly enlightened by taking in this energy from head to toe. As you breathe out, you're breathing out anti-civilization breathing out all the constructs 
you know it does not work. You have the experience to know it does not work. It is not harmony. It is disharmony. It is not peace. It is chaos. This this we are the masters of because we have learned it. We know it. We have been in it. We have participated in it. This is our release. This is our disconnect from the anti-civilization and a firm, deep, eternal love embrace of the civilization of the universe. And as we shift into the direction, we begin to feel much lighter and we are lighter. We fold into our heart mind, lean back and you just kind of blend with the heart mind. Solitude, peace, quiet, being, not asking questions, not analyzing, not reviewing, just being in peace and listening. From the heart mind, which is very powerful, it's two plus times more powerful than your mind. Now, we're not saying the mind is not a useful tool, as long as you learn how to master the mind through the heart mind. And we are traveling, always traveling, moving forward. We're moving in a deep penetration into the civilization of the universe. We are moving up in our vibrational harmonics, our frequencies. We are increasing our abilities to identify and participate in enlightenment and to be enlightened. We see, we, we, we funnel through and we see the energy that makes up who we are. We see the energy of the deep, golden, white, deep, pink, deep, eternal love light. This is us but yet we can be with it and mingle with it as well. The Emerald Green Flaming Healing Light of Archangel Raphael, this is us, our healing power. The Purple Transmuting Flame, this is part of us. We can transmute low frequency energies into neutral light substance. We can disperse them. The Violet Ray, we can cleanse And the white fire, we can strengthen, protect, put our armor on and our, use our shields of the highest energy of deep eternal love. So we flow with that. And as we flow, we begin to understand. We are flowing downstream, not upstream. We don't fight the current. That teaching was totally in a negative format. Fight the current. Struggle. Strive. You flow downstream. You go faster. You cover more ground. You cover more knowledge, more experience. So as you mingle and you merge and you are floating and you're empowered and you're bristling with light, love, energy, and you immediately join with your higher self, 
you create heaven on earth through merging the physical, the earthly, with the spiritual, the etherical, the light. Eventually, you will take the lampshade off and just your light will shine. You're flowing. You feel your frequencies increasing. You feel your awareness becoming clearer and clearer in peace, joy, love, and prosperity. Arm in arm, hand in hand, we form our circle of light and we float up above the planet. We float up effortlessly. And as we're floating, we call upon all of the light energy beings in all dimensions and all existences in all universes who are of deep, deep eternal love from deep eternal love to join us in this meditation and we lovingly graciously thank them we call upon the ascended masters El Moria, Kuan Yun, Lakshmi, Ganesh Maitreya, Buddha, Sananda, Jesus Abundantia St. Germain all of the ascended masters who are of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love to join us in this meditation and we lovingly graciously thank them we call upon inner earth hollow earth all of the inhabitants of deep eternal love from deep eternal love to join us in this meditation and we lovingly graciously thank them we call upon all the archangels the seraphim the cherubim the archetypes all of the angels who are of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love to join us in this meditation. We lovingly, graciously thank them. We call upon all the galactics and benevolence who are assisting the civilization of this planet, humanity, to ascend, to break free of the slavery and bondage that they have been incarcerated with from the beginning. We're of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love to join us in this meditation and we lovingly, graciously thank them. We call upon all of our loved ones who have passed over in this life and all lives that we have inhabited who are of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love to join us in this meditation. And we lovingly, graciously thank them. We call upon all of the light energy beings who have chosen to be in the forms at this time on this planet of the fairies, the sprites, the elves, the gnomes. Join us in this meditation. 
and we lovingly and graciously thank our Creator for being with us. We look up and we see our meditative sphere hovering above and directly over our circle of light. The sphere is sending wave after wave, saturating all of us in harmony and deep eternal love and peace and prosperity and joy and bliss, enlightening energies, bringing us up and up and up, harmonizing us, strengthening us. And this is pouring forth all over the surface of the planet, in the atmosphere, in the surrounding planets, intensifying each second of its existence. We feel this harmony. We feel as the anti-civilization disintegrates and the civilization of the universe moves in to take over, cleansing. We see the energies, the light energies, the golden white, pink light of prime source, creator God, the emerald green flaming healing light of Archangel Raphael, the purple transmuting flame, the violet ray, and the white fire bristling, vibrating. Remember the golden ocean. We are swimming freely. We are blending and merging. We are embracing. We know our journey. It's to heaven's enlightenment. It is the civilization of the universe. We look upon the planet and we see all of the civilization, all of our brothers and sisters, and one band of energy Prime Source Creator God, through us, sends out a massive, expansive wave after wave after wave of continuous enlightening energy, saturating and flooding every single form of life on and in and above this planet. See it with your heart mind. Embrace it. Feel the exuberation within you, continually elevating its frequencies, your higher self, your spirit, your God's heart, lifting you ever so higher in enlightenment and awareness and understanding and how you respect life as the highest value in the universe. And honor this and be it and love, and peace, and harmony, and joy, and prosperity, and contentment, and tranquility. Allow it to just be you, because it is you. Balance your waves of energy. Balance your shadow and your light. Balance them. Be in love. Be in that harmony. Be in love with who and what you are. For all of us. This is our direction. This is our evolution. So be in harmony. Mingle with the energies. See them as they process, as they expand with all life on this planet and all life throughout this solar system and in this throughout this galaxy and beyond. I'll join you in the meditation and I'll return to close this out.
energy, as you know, you're transforming and you're expanding. So your comprehension's increasing, your scope uh, has intensified, your awareness is becoming clearer and clearer, and your strength and power and confidence without ego has been greatly revealed to you. So as you go through this day, into the night and into the morning, it's it's a, a vividness to focus with and to advance continually in a higher place of vibration. And we know what the, that is. You know what that is. And it is for your heart mind, your mind, to bring in that harmony and that balance so that you can begin to create value and build wealth for yourself and each other as time expands. And we are all in and have made our steps to begin the process of living in the civilization of the universe. We'll be back here at 3 p.m. Eastern, February 13th, 2019. And we this week, uh, we're going to have a, uh, a separate call uh, I'm working on for a just a health subject, just for these bodies. And uh, I haven't got a day yet, but uh, we will also have uh, the time for change call on Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern here. Uh, we have a lot of ground to cover on these subjects. So, um, from prime source, creator God, to each and every one of you, from the universe and the civilization of the universe, be peaceful. <laughs>